Okay, welcome back, brothers and sisters. Willkommen zurück, liebe Geschwister. Let's open with a silent prayer. Lasst uns mit einem stillen Gebet anfangen. <coughs> Okay, so we've been um, bringing all these different thoughts together. So wir haben all diese verschiedenen Gedanken zusammengebracht. And the the point is that th this judgment is marking the end, right? The point is, is that this Gericht markiert das Ende. It's the separating point that marks the beginning, right? Es ist der Trennungspunkt, die das Anfang markiert. The, the judgment is the point that brings the end and the beginning. Together, so right? das Gericht ist eben der Punkt, die das Ende und das Anfang zusammenbringt. Yes. Amen. So whenever ever Satan is punished, you're brought forth, which is you're the beginning of your Christian experience, right? So, wenn immer Satan bestraft wird, wirst du hervorgebracht und das markiert das Anfang deines christlichen Wandels. Okay, let's just go back to Proverbs uh, chapter 8. So die Notizen, wir gehen zu Sprüche 8. It says, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before the works of old i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was when there was no depths i was brought forth when there was no foundations abounding with water before the mountains were settled before the hills was i brought forth okay and this is a parallel prophetically to John 1.1. Und dies ist eine Parallel prophetisch gesehen zu Johannes 1, Vers 1. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What was the Word? So was war das Wort? God. Es war right? Gott. Because it's marking the combination of the human and the divine, es right? Es markiert die Verbindung zwischen das Menschliche und das Göttliche. Because the Word is the seed, right? right? Das Wort ist der Same. In this, the, it's this heavenly seed, when it's in your heart, you're now of this heavenly um, lineage. Lineage, thank you. Und so. wenn diese Same, der Wort in deinem Herzen ist, gehörst du der himmlische Abstammung. And this is what Christ was role playing, what he was illustrating, right? Das ist es, was Christus um, uh, vorgespielt hat. Das ist was er dargestellt hat. This uh, this heavenly lineage which was god right is a himmlische abstammung der gott ist okay so when that seed is in you you are like god right so, wenn diese same in dir ist dann bist du wie gott and hence when christ says did i not see ye are as gods und right? deswegen sagt es als christus sagt habe ich nichts gesagt ihr seid wie götter when ja. do you become these gods so wann werdet ihr dieses göttern werden According to the scriptures, gemäß den Schriften, when you understand the revelation, wenn right? du die Offenbarung verstehst, when you, when you have the word now in your heart, you're able to understand this, the, the raising up of kings and the falling of kings. You have become like Christ. So, right? Wenn du das Wort in deinem Herzen hast, wenn du eben verstehst das Aufrichten und das Zerfall von Königen, dann bist du eben wie Christus geworden. Okay. So go to this uh, first quote. Gehen wir jetzt zu diesem ersten Zitat. It says, The sovereign of the universe was not alone in his work of beneficence. beneficence. He had an associate, a co-worker who could appreciate his purposes and could share his joy in giving happiness to created beings. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Christ, the Word, the only begotten of God, was one with the eternal father. See, these are all allegories, right? They're all role plays. So, die hier, diese Sachen hier sind alle Allegorien, die sind alle Rollenspielen. Because we read that he has no beginning and no end, Denn right? Wir haben vorhin gelesen, dass er eben keinen Anfang noch Ende hatte. The only being that could enter into all the counsels and purposes of God, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His going, goings forth have been from old, from everlasting. And the Son of God re 
declares concerning himself, The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. Before his works of old, I was set up from everlasting. So you can see parallel in John 1.1 1, 1 with Proverbs 8. Right? So can hier sehen, dass er Johannes 1, Vers 1 mit Sprüche 8 vergleicht. Next uh, paragraph. Next Absatz. The Father wrought by his Son in the creation of all heavenly beings. By him were all things created, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Angels are God's ministers, radiant with the light ever flowing from his presence and and speeding on rapid wing to execute his will. But the Son, the anointed of God, the express image of his person, the brightness of his glory, upholding all things by the word of his power, holds supremacy over them all. Okay, so when Adam was created, did he have supremacy? Over all. So, als Adam geschaffen worden ist, hatte er die Herrschaft über alles bekommen. Because he's typifying Christ, right? Weil er Christus vorausschattete. Was Adam perfect? War Adam perfect? The glory of God, right? Also die Herrlichkeit Gottes eben. Okay. It says, a glorious high throne from the beginning was the place of his sanctuary, a scepter of righteousness, the scepter of his kingdom. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Mercy and truth go before his face. So, this is how Christ wants to bring us to, to be like him. Right? So, möchte Christ uns, uns hinbringen, dass wir eben wie ihm werden. Okay, and in Isaiah 40, verse 21, Isaiah, it makes this statement. Isaiah 40, verse 21, macht diese Aussage. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? Right? So you can see that the baptism, John 1.1. So you can see that the Taufe, Johannes 1.1. Genesis 1.1 and Proverbs 8.22, they're all illustrating the same point. Prophetically. So, Johannes 1, 1, 1 Mose 1, 1 und Sprüche 8, Vers 22 stellen alle denselben Punkt dar, prophetisch gesehen. Right? Because we read in Revelation 12, when the devil fell from heaven, Christ, Christ was brought forth. Right? So, wir haben gelesen, dass in Offenbarung 12, wenn Satan vom Himmel fällt, dass Christus hervorgebracht, hervorgebracht worden ist. And Satan fell to the earth. Right? Satan ist zu die Erde gefallen. So when Satan fell to the earth, he fell to the earth before Christ was brought forth. So right? Als Satan zu die Erde fiel, er ist zu der Erde gefallen, noch bevor Christus hervorgebracht worden okay. ist. And Christ being brought forth there was typified by Adam. Right? Und Christus hervorgebracht äh, worden würde durch Adam vorausgeschattet. Right? We, we will see that as we go through. Right? Das werden wir sehen, wenn wir so weitergehen. So, and he's, Isaiah's pointing them back. He's saying, did, did you not understand this from when it was illustrated in the beginning, right? Und Jesaja hier, er weist zurück und sagt, habt ihr das nicht verstanden, als es am Anfang dargestellt wurde? John, just look, go to John 6, 64. Johannes 6, Vers 64. But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. Where did he know this from? So, woher kannte er das? From the beginning, Von right? Anfang her. Okay. So, when the end happens, you then have the beginning, right? So, wenn das Ende geschieht, hast du dann das Anfang. And God already knows who's going to fall at the end, right? Und Gott weiß bereits, wer am Ende fallen wird. And then he's going to bring forth and repopulate again, right? Und dann wird er hervorbringen und... Uh, Neu, uh, voll bevölkern. Right, it's this constant cycle, right? Das ist diese wiederholende Muster. So he knows from the beginning already who's going to betray him, right? So er weiß schon bereits von Anbeginn an, wer ihm verraten wird. Vers, uh, John 1 and verse 12. Johannes 1, Vers 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. So what do you receive at the beginning? So was erhältst du am Anfang? Power, Kraft. Right. 
But God knows from the beginning those that receive this power who's already going to betray him. Right? Uh, God weiß bereits von Anbeginn an unter all diejenigen, die diesen Kraft erhalten, wer ihm dann verraten werden. So in Proverbs 8, 22, Jesus was mm. brought forth, right? Sprüche 8, Vers 22, Jesus ist hervorgebracht worden. Who did he create? Wem hat er erschaffen? Come on, guys. Angels. Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8, when he was brought, angels. the angels, right? Er schuf die Engel. So did he know from the moment he created those angels, Who was going to betray him? So yeah. wusste er bereits von Anbeginn an, als er diese Engel geschaffen hat, yeah. wer unter sie ihm verraten wird. already knew the plan of, this was the plan of salvation was already been illustrated before they'd even been born. Er wusste es schon bereits, also die Erlösungsplan ist schon bereits dargestellt worden, noch bevor sie überhaupt geboren waren. When the father said to Satan, "This is my beloved son." Plan of salvation is already there. Als der Vater zu Satan sagt, dieses meine geliebte Sohn, der Erlösungsplan ist bereits da. He's playing the role already of the Savior. Er right? spielt die Rolle des Erlösers bereits. Yes. Amen. Okay. It's, this why I say, have you not known, have you not heard, have it not been told you from the beginning? Did you not get this point? Right? Deswegen sagt es in Jesaja 40, also, habt ihr es nicht gewusst, habt ihr es nicht gemerkt, dass von Anfang an diesen Punkt war? Okay, so those that believe him at the baptism receive power to become the sons of God, right? So, diejenigen, die ihm bei der Taufe annehmen, erhalten Kraft, Söhne Gottes zu werden. Which is at the beginning. Was eben am Anbeginn ist, Anfang. R right? Amen. Okay, Matthew 10, verse 1. Ist Matthäus 10 und Vers 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples. How many? Wie viele Jungen? 12, right? 12. How many tribes came out of Egypt? Wie viele Stämme kamen aus Ägypten heraus? Twelve. Zwölf. Who are they? Und wer sind sie? Come on, just follow the narrative we've been going through. Who are they? Wer sind sie? Yes, they're the seed of Abraham. Sie sind der Same Abrahams. Which is Christ. Was Christus ist. So they're illustrating him at the beginning, right? Sie stellen ihm dar am Anfang. Yes? Amen. Okay. So it says, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power, ja, right? Sie Kraft. Okay, they're just like in the beginning, right? Genauso wie am Anfang. Um, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Just like Christ, right? So, genauso wie Christus das tat. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew's brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus and Libius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. So when he gave them 12, what did he know? When he gave the 12 power, what did he already know? So as er den Zwölfen Kraft gegeben hat, was wusste er bereits? Who would betray him? Wer unter sie ihm verraten wird? He already knew that Judas was a murderer From the beginning, er right? wusste bereits, dass Judas ein Mörder war, bereits von Anfang an. He knew when he created those angels and gave them power to become the sons of God, that Satan was a murderer right there. Er wusste, als er diese Engeln geschaffen hat und sie Kraft gegeben hat, Söhne Gottes zu werden, dass Satan genau unter ihnen war. Right? Amen. Because the point is that when you become a star in the heavens what can what is possible to happen Und der punkt ist ist dass wenn du ein stern wirst in den himmeln was ist möglich you can fall du kannst fallen this was this point as making when you come here now the battle is you must maintain what he's done in your heart das right? ist der punkt den wir vorhin gemacht haben dass wenn du hier ankommst jetzt du musst ähm, diesen Kampf weiterführen äh, in deinem Herzen. And this is the problem with Adventism. They mix up this experience, this holy place experience, with this experience. They think they're the same thing. Das right? ist das Problem mit dem Adventismus. Sie verwechseln diese Erfahrung, also diese heilige Erfahrung, Erfahrung mit dieser Erfahrung hier. Sie meinen, die beiden seien dasselbe. Okay, two completely different experiences. Right? Das sind eben zwei total verschiedene Erfahrungen. One leads you to have a holy heart the other one is maintaining 
a holy heart. Die right? eine führt dazu, dass du ein heiliges Herz bekommst. Der andere Erfahrung ist, dass du dieses heilige Herz bewahrst. Okay. So, now go to John 1 and verse 6. Jetzt gehen wir zu Johannes 1 und Vers 6. It says, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. What was he bearing witnesses, witness of? So, was hat der, von was hat er Zeugnis gegeben? The light. Das Licht. Who was the light? Und wer war das Licht? Christ, right? Christus. Okay. To bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He, John, was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man, which cometh into the world. So who is Christ playing the role of? So von wem sp uh, spielt Christus die Rolle? Remember, it's the baptism here, right? So ich denke, dass es hier die Taufe ist. Come on, brothers and sisters, think prophetically. At the beginning, so am Anfang. we already read, he knew that... that um, Lucifer was a murderer from the beginning. So right? Wir haben bereits gesehen, dass äh, er wusste schon von Anfang an, dass äh, Lucifer ein Mörder war. What does Lucifer mean? Was bedeutet Lucifer? Okay, der so Lichtträger. Christ illustrating. Das ist, was Christus hier darstellt. Lucifer. Er stellt Lucifer the dar. The light bearer. Der right? Lichtträger. Okay. The light bearer is a people, the people that come out of Egypt, so, right? Der Lichtträger sind ein Volk, nämlich das Volk, die aus Ägypten herauskommen. Some will fall. Einige werden fallen. Some won't fall. Einige werden nicht fallen. But he knew from the beginning that he made them this proponent of light who was going to be a murderer, Aber right? Er wusste schon von Anbeginn an, als er diesen Volk, also das Licht gemacht habe, wer unter sie ihm verraten werden oder fallen werden. Yes. Amen. All get the point? Könnt ihr das alles sehen? Okay, so Christ is playing, playing this role of Lucifer. He's not playing the role of Satan, he's playing the role of Lucifer. So, right? Christus spielt die Rolle von Lucifer hier. Nicht Satan, sondern Lucifer. Lucifer is a, is a good symbol, right? Lucifer ist ein gutes Symbol. He's this light bearer to the whole world, er right? Er ist dieser Lichtträger zu den ganzen Welt hin. Okay, in Vers 14. Vers 14. And the word was made flesh. God and humanity are combined, right? Das Wort wurde Fleisch gemacht, also Gott und die Menschheit sind verbunden. And dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the what? The Herrlichkeit des was? The only begotten, means the born of God, einzig, right? Einzig geborene Sohn Gottes. Right? It's this light bearer who has been born coming out of Egypt, right? Diese Lichtträger, der geboren worden ist und aus Ägypten herauskam. You see how he's illustrating all these things? Könntet ihr sehen, wie er all diese Dinge darstellt? Okay. So, go to this next quote. Gehen wir zu diesem nächsten Zitat. Um, okay, we'll come back to that point. It says, so long as all created beings acknowledge the allegiance of love, There was perfect harmony throughout the universe of God. It was the joy of the heavenly host to fulfill the purpose of their creator. So you delight to do his will, so right? Du liebst es, seine Wille zu tun. They delighted in reflecting his glory and showing forth his praise. And while love to God was supreme, love for one another was confiding and unselfish. There was no note of discord to mar the celestial harmonies. But a change came over this happy state. There was one who perverted the freedom that God had granted to his creatures. Now, where does he, where does that freedom marked in prophecy? So, wo ist diese Freiheit in der Prophetie markiert? Say it louder, Nick. Right. The erste Geburt. Freedom from what? Freiheit von was? The truth shall make you Free, Freiheit right? von Sünde eben, die Wahrheit wird dich frei machen. when he puts the seed into your heart, das ist right? der Punkt, wo er der Same in deinem Herzen You're legt. You're set free from Egypt, du right? Du bist frei gemacht worden von Ägypten. It goes from a time of trouble to a time of peace, right? Von einer Zeit des Trübsals zu einer Zeit des Friedens über. Why is there peace? Und warum gibt es Frieden? Because all the brethren that are left, they all got one mind and they all have this brotherly love 
for one another. Weil right? alle Geschwister, die noch übrig sind, die haben eines Gesinnungs und haben alle diese brüderliche Liebe füreinander. It says there was one from the beginning. God knew who it was, right? Es gab eins, sagt es hier, und von Anfang an, Gott wusste, wer das war. There was one who perverted the freedom that God had granted to his creatures. Sin originated with him who next to Christ had been most honored of God and was highest in power and glory among the inhabitants of heaven. Lucifer, son of the morning, was first of the covering cherubs, holy and undefiled. He stood in the presence of the great creator and the ceaseless beams of glory enshrouding the eternal God rested upon him. Thus saith the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. That's what it says about them when they came out of Egypt. Right? Voller Weisheit und perfekt in ihrer Schönheit. Das ist, was es sagt über sie, als sie aus Ägypten herauskamen. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. I have said thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. So where was Lucifer? So wo war Lucifer? In the garden. In right? garden. Because he, prophetically, he'd gone through this veil, right? Um, prophetisch gesehen, er ist durch diesen Vorhang Remember the veil has these flowers and these palm trees, and you mm. come into the garden, right? Ich denke, dass diesen Vorhang, also diese Blumen und diesen Palmenzweigen drauf hat, also du gehst in den Garten hindurch. There was upon the holy mountain of God. Where was he? Wo war er? On a mountain. Auf right? einem Berg. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Right? At a later period. Right? So, Bosheit in ihm befunden worden ist später. Next quote. Nächster Zitat. I ask our people to study the 28th chapter of Ezekiel. The representation here made while it refers primarily to Lucifer, the fallen angel has a yet broader significance, not one being, but a general movement. Okay, where does the movement come forth? So, wo kommt die Bewegung hervor? At the beginning, right? Am Anfang. Okay, this is where he called his 12 disciples. He has a movement. Right? Hier ist es, wo er seine zwölf Jungen gerufen hat. Er hat jetzt eine Bewegung. Our movement began in 9/11 unsere right? Bewegung fing an zu 11. September by the judgment upon those two towers right Durch das Gericht die über diesen zwei Türmen verübt wurde typifying the judgment at the end of this these periods right die das Gericht am Ende von diesen Perioden vorausschattet okay it says not one being but a general movement is described and one that we shall witness a faithful study of this chapter should lead those who are seeking for truth to walk in all the light that God has given to his people, lest they be deceived by the deceptions of those last days. Right? Christ, what did he say? Christus, was sagte er? Right here, what did he say? Was sagte er gerade hier? Come on, Prince. Be not deceived. Werdet nicht verführt werden. Right? We're Amen. studying line upon line, right? Wir studieren Try Linie auf Linie. Like that, right? Versucht in diesen Gedanken so zu kommen. So everyone will be deceived. He, the very first thing he says at the beginning of the movement is be not deceived. Genau right? das, was er sagt am Anbeginn der Bewegung ist, werdet nicht verführt. It says, little by little, Lucifer came to indulge the desire for self-exaltation. The scripture says thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Thou hast said in thine heart, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be like the most high. Right? So it's where you lift yourself up over the congregation. Instead of being an ambassador for Christ, you think that you are Christ. Right? Das ist, wo du dich erhöhst über die Versammlung, anstelle, dass du denkst, dass du eine Gesandte Christi bist, du denkst, dass du Christi selber bist. Thou hast said in thine heart, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will be like the Most High. Though all his glory was from God, this mighty angel came to regard it as pertaining to himself. Not content with his position, 
Though honoured above the heavenly host, he ventured to covet homage due alone to the Creator. So Lucifer represents somebody that was above the heavenly host, right? Lucifer stellt jemanden da, der über den himmlischen hergestellt würde. So when you're resurrected, are you placed above the angels? So wenn du auferweckt würdest, bist du über den Engeln gestellt? Amen. It says that, right? It sucks. Man was made a little lower than the angels, right? So, der Mensch würde ein weniger geringer als die Engel geschaffen. Okay, but when you when he when he says this is my begotten son, he sets you above the angels, Aber right? Wenn er sagt, dies ist mein geborener Sohn, er setzt dich über den Engeln. You're Lucifer, right? Du bist jetzt Lucifer geworden. And it tells us there, though honored above the heavenly host, he ventured to covet homage due alone to the Creator. Instead of seeking to make God supreme in the affections and allegiance of all created beings, it was his endeavor to secure their service and loyalty to himself, and coveting the glory with which the infinite Father had invested his Son, this Prince of Angels aspired to power that was the prerogative of Christ alone. And I've seen this very thing happen with my own Eyes, ich right? habe genau diese Sache gesehen mit meinen eigenen Augen. People begin to follow men and not the Bible anymore. So right? Menschen fangen an, eben Menschen zu folgen und nicht mehr die Bibel. And men require that they do that. Und einige Menschen verlangen, dass sie das eben so tun. Terrible blindness. Das ist schreckliche Blindheit. Okay. When men that stand here and stop to give you a thus saith the Lord, you need to fear, right? So, wenn Menschen, die hier an Pult stehen und sie hören auf, ein so spricht des Herrn zu geben, dann solltet ihr fürchten. Okay. Well, they might give you a thus saith the Lord, but perverted. Und sie mögen dich vielleicht an so spricht des Herrn geben, aber verdreht. Right. Okay. So, Revelation uh, 12 and verse 1. Offenbarung 12 von Vers 1. And this is what we were reading of this fall from heaven, right? Und das haben wir bereits vorhin gelesen, also diesen Sturz vom Himmel. So just let's read it again, get it fresh in our mind. Lass uns es nochmal lesen und es frisch in Gedächtnis bringen. There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. How many stars? Und wie viele Sterne? 12. 12. Right? In one sense, it's representing them, the 12 tribes coming out of Egypt, right? Im einen Sinne, es stellt die zwölf Stämmen, wie sie aus Ägypten herauskommen. When do they come out of Egypt? Wann kommen sie aus Ägypten heraus? When Pharaoh is punished, and Pharaoh is Satan, Wenn right? Wenn Pharao bestraft wird, und Pharao ist Satan. But they're in heaven, so it's also showing us something else, right? Aber sie sind im Himmel, also es zeigt uns folglich was anderes. Um, And she being with child, travailing in birth. She's having this Genesis 3.16 experience, right? Das war ja, also sie hat hier diese 1. Mose 3.16 Erfahrung. And pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Right? Vers 5. So, the judgment marks the end, right? So, das Gericht markiert das Ende. Where was Satan cast down to? So, wohin ist Satan geworfen worden? The earth. Auf die Erde. So, what's the very next thing that happens? So, was ist genau das Nächste, was geschieht? In the beginning. Am Anfang. Right? Amen? Persecution. No, no. He's going to create. Er wird sch schöpfen. Right? You, you'll see this in a, in a moment, right? Er werde das gleich sehen. So Satan falls from heaven to the earth. So Satan fällt vom Himmel zu der Erde hin. How was the earth when he fell onto it? So wie war die Erde, als er darauf fiel? Void. Es war leer. Dark, right? Fenster. The very next thing in Genesis 1:1 it says the word spoke, right? Genau das nächste was geschieht im 1. Mose 1:1 sprach das Wort. Who is the word? Wer ist der, das Wort? Christ. Es ist Christus. Christ comes forth and creates. Christus right? kommt hervor und schöpft, right? Amen. But it says here, aber es sagt hier, 
the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Vers 4. Right? Okay, so go to 1 Corinthians 15. So gehen wir zu 1. Korinther, Vers 15. Vers 45. Uh, 1. Korinther 15, Vers 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Who was Adam? So wer ist Adam? The first man. The first man. Who is God? And where is God? Yes, thank you. Say it louder. The first and the right. The first and the last. Which is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Right? Alpha, das Omega, das Anfang, das Ende. So the first man, Adam, illustrates the beginning. So right? the first man, Adam, stellt das Anfang dar. So who was it? Satan was waiting to persecute as soon as he was brought forth. So wer ist es, worauf Satan gewartet hat zu verfolgen, sobald er hervorgebracht würde? Adam. Es war Adam. <laughs> right. He's waiting. Where was he waiting for him? So wo, um, um, worauf hat er auf ihn gewartet? On the earth that was dark and void, right? Auf die Erde, die finster und leer war. Right? As soon as Christ had created the, the earth, he came to the seventh day, which was the rest, right? Und sobald das er die Erde geschaffen hat, kam zur siebten Tag, was die Ruhe war. Satan was there. Satan war da. Ready to undo that rest, right? Und wartete da und lauerte darauf, diese Ruhe zu um, so um, kaputt zu machen, right? Because God knew that he was a murderer from the beginning, right? Weil Gott wusste, dass er von Anbeginn an ein Mörder war. So in the beginning, Adam's created, he's typifying Christ, right? So am Anfang, Adam ist erschaffen worden und er schattet Christus voraus. <laughs> right, and let's read, right? Lesen says, wir weiter. Revelation 13, Vers 8. Uh, Offenbarung 13, Vers 8. In fact, before we read that, let's just read 1 Corinthians 15, the rest of it. Aber noch bevor wir das lesen, lesen wir 1. Korinther zu Ende. It says, and so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and after that which is spiritual. So Adam, being assailed by Satan, is the type that we have to learn about, right? So Adam, der verfolgt wird durch Satan, ist der Typus, von dem wir lernen müssen. Because he's is really speaking about the spiritual, those that receive this spirit, right? Also Vali spricht über das Geistliche, also diejenigen, die diesen Geist erhalten. Right? Amen. Sister White takes Revelation 12 and she says it's the birth of Christ. Right? And White nimmt Offenbarung 12 und sagt, dies sei der Geburt Christi. And the dragon was Herod. Und right? der Drache in diesem Fall war Herodes. We've already shown that that experience is marking this experience, right? Wir haben bereits gezeigt, dass diese Erfahrung markiert eben diese Erfahrung hier. Okay. It says, the first man is of the earth. Earthy, the second man is the Lord from heaven. Which man are we need to be? So, welcher Mann müssen wir werden? The second, das right? zweite. We don't want to be the type wir that falls. Wir wollen nicht der Typus sein, der fällt. We need to be the antitype that's led by the Spirit, right? Wir müssen der Antitypus werden, die vom Geist geführt ist. Go to Revelation 13, verse 8. Gehen wir zu Offenbarung 13, Vers 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. When was the Lamb slain? So, wann ist der Lamm geschlachtet worden? The beginning, right? Am Because Anfang. Have you not known from the beginning, from the foundation of the world, right? So, habt ihr nicht gewusst von Anbeginn, von der Grundlegung der Erde da? How do we know the lamb was slain? Woher wissen wir, dass das Lamm geschlachtet wurde? In the beginning. Wird? Am Anfang. It says, as a man thinketh, so is he, right? So, es sagt, so wie ein Mensch denkt, so ist er. So it says, if you think to do evil to your brother, what are you thinking in your heart? So es sagt, wenn du gedenkst, Böses deinen Bruder anzutun, was denkst du in deinem Herzen? Or should say, what are you? So, oder besser sagt, was a bist murderer, du? Ein Mörder, right? Du bist ein Mörder. Because... The action of murdering is only comes from what you've thought out in your heart, right? Denn der Tat des Ermordens stammt nur daher, was du bereits in deinem Herzen gedacht hast. Okay, the hence why it says John 8, 44. Deswegen sagt es hier in Johannes 8, Vers 44. Ye are of your father the devil, 
and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, right? Er war ein Mörder von Anfang an. Okay, because he slew the lamb at the foundation of the world. Weil right? er hat das Lamm zum Fundam oder zum Grundlegung der Erde geschlachtet. Because we read when Adam came forth, he was waiting there to devour him. Right? Weil wir haben gelesen, als Adam hervorgebracht worden ist, dass Satan wartete auf ihm, um ihn zu verschlingen. He had planned it in his mind that he was going to murder Adam. Right? Er hat es in seinem Verstand um, geplant, dass er Adam ermorden würde. What about Christ? Was ist mit bei Christus? When Christ came forth here, als Christus hier hervorgebracht wurde, the devil immediately go to put his plan into action. Hat der right? Teufel dann vorangekommen, um seinen Plan uh, umzusetzen? And his plan was to murder him. Right? Sein Plan war eben ihm zu ermorden. And in order to murder him, he first has to deceive him. Right? Und um ihm ermorden zu können, er musste ihm zuerst verführen. Because had he deceived Christ in the wilderness, he would have murdered him right there. Denn hätte er ihm Christus in der Wüste verführt, er hätte ihm genau da ermordet. This so shows you in the prophecy. If they can get the prophet to break God's law, they will murder him because they know that God will not protect him. Right? Und das zeigt uns in der Prophetie, wenn sie den Prophet dazu bringen können, uh, bring him to do what, sorry? Break God's law. Also, bring ihm dazu, Gottes Gesetz zu brechen, dann wissen sie, dass sie ihm ermorden kann, weil Gott werde ihm denn nicht schützen. Okay, go to Genesis 1.1. Gehen wir zu 1. Mose 1.1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said, let there be light and there was light. So prior to the light, the earth was there, right? So noch bevor das Licht kam, die Erde war bereits da. The word speaking is the light that creates. Das right? Wort, der spricht, ist das Licht, die schöpft. So it shows that before the earth was created, The earth was there, but it was dark and void. So right? Es zeigt uns, dass noch bevor die Erde geschaffen würde, dass die Erde zwar bereits da war, es war aber finster und leer. Because it had to be there when Satan fell, right? Es musste bereits da gewesen sein, als Satan fiel. So when he fell, he fell into this dark, void wasteland, so right? Als er fiel, er fiel auf diese Wüste und leere Uh, ödes Land, which is the end, was das Ende ist. And then, in the beginning, he brings forth light, right? Und dann am Anfang bringt er Licht hervor. And now he begins to create, Und right? jetzt fängt er an zu schöpfen, right? So it shows you what was created was the face, the surface of the earth and the heaven that surrounded it, right? Und was uns das zeigt, ist das, was geschaffen worden ist, ist die Oberfläche der Erde und die Himmel, die die Erde umgibt. Amen. Amen. Okay, because when we go to Revelation 20, then when we get to Offenbarung 20, gehen, verse 1, verse 1, it's marking the end. It's marking the end. I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Who is this? Where is this here? Or what would we parallel this angel with? Or mit was werden wir diese Engel parallel stellen? Two chapters earlier. Zwei Kapiteln zuvor. That's one chapter earlier. 18. So Kapitel 18. Two off of 20 is 18, right? 20 minus 2 is 18. So in Revelation 18, is there an angel who comes down from heaven? So in Offenbarung 18 gibt es einen Engel, der vom Himmel herabkommt. And what does he say? Und was sagt er? Okay, so who's fallen? So Babylon is gefallen, is gefallen. Also, wer Satan, ist gefallen? Satan says, I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Satan right? is gefallen. Es sagt, ich habe Satan gesehen, wie er von Himmel fiel, wie ein Blitz. Okay, it's where, so Satan, Revelation 20, verse 1. So, Offenbarung 20, Vers 1. I saw an angel come down from heaven. This is the punishment on Satan. Ich right? sah einen Engel, der vom Himmel herabkam. Das ist die Bestrafung, die auf Satan verübt ist. Having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Where does he put him into? So, wo tut er Satan hinein? On the earth. Auf die Erde. How is the earth? Wie ist die Erde? Ja, yeah, it's the bottomless pit, das right? Das ist dieser bodenlose Abgrund. So, go to... Jeremiah chapter 4, gehen wir jetzt zu Jeremia Kapitel 4, Vers 23. Vers 23. 
It says, I beheld the earth and lo, it was without form and void. Exactly the same words, right? So, genau dieselbe Wortwahl. Where is Jeremiah beholding this? So, wo betrachtet Jeremiah dies? And the heavens and they had no light. So, Die how Himmel were they? Hatten kein Licht. Wie waren sie? Dark, right? Sie waren finster. I beheld the mountains and lo, they trembled and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld and lo, there was no man and all the birds of heaven were fled, right? And it's marking the destruction of Jerusalem. Das right? markiert hier die Zerstörung Jerusalems. Which is here. Was right? eben hier ist. Okay, so the seventh plague begins and the whole world is getting laid waste until the end. Right? So es markiert eben diesen Punkt und die ganze Welt wird wüst gelegt bis zu diesem Punkt hin. Okay, we'll talk more about that as we go through, right? Und so wie wir vorangehen, wir werden mehr über diesen Punkt denn sprechen. Okay. Zu sprechen kommen. Um, so go to Joel chapter 2, which is also the destruction of Jerusalem. So gehen wir jetzt zu Joel Kapitel 2 und das markiert auch die Zerstörung Jerusalems. Vers 1. Vers 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is night hand. A day of what? Ein was für ein Tag? Darkness, Dunkelheit. Right? And gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall there, neither shall be any more after it until the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Okay, so where was the land like a garden of Eden? So, wo war das Land wie den Garten Eden? At the beginning. Am Anfang. When you go through the veil, you come into the garden of Eden, Wenn right? Wenn du durch den Vorhang hindurch gehst, trittst du in das Garten Eden hinein. We are hinein. so forgetful. Lucifer, where was he? So, wir vergessen so leicht. Lucifer, wo war er? In the Garden of Eden. Im Garten Eden. But he fell. Aber right? er fiel. It's marking, it's leading us down to this punishment upon him at the end, right? Es bringt uns zu diesen Bestrafung auf ihm hin, hier am Ende. Right? Amen? Okay, so it is marking God's people here, Jerusalem, right? Es markiert Gottes Volk hier, Jerusalem eben. It was like the Garden of Eden, but afterwards it was like a Desolate wilderness, right? Uh, wie das Garten Eden, aber hinter hier wie eine ödes Wüste. So when you get to the end here, how hier, is the world? Wenn du hier am Ende ankommst, wie ist die Welt? Void. Es Darkness ist, was upon the face of the deep. Es right? ist leer und Finsternis, Finsternis war über den Oberfläche des Tiefen. So what must God see? So was muss Gott denn folglich sagen? Let there be light. Es werde Licht. Okay. In the beginning was the word. Am Anfang war das Wort. And he was the light of the world. Und er right? war das Licht der Welt. Okay. So he he must create again. So he, those that receive him, he gives power to become the sons of God. So right? Er muss sie neu schöpfen und diejenigen, die er schöpft, er gibt Kraft, Söhne Gottes zu werden. Now follow. Könnt ihr alle folgen? Silence is speaks for itself, right? Next quote. Next Zitat. That the expression bottomless pit represents the earth in a state of confusion and darkness is evident from other scriptures. Concerning the condition of the earth in the beginning, the Bible record says that it was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Hebrew word here translated deep is rendered in the Septuagint Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament by the same word rendered bottomless pit in Revelation 21 to 3. So she parallels Revelation 21, the angel comes down the bottomless pit with Genesis 1, 1, right? So, sie stellt parallel hier Offenbarung 20, Vers 1, ähm, wo der Engel herabkommt mit den in den bodenlosen Abgrund mit 1. Mose 1, Vers 1. Prophecy teaches that it will be brought back partially at least to this condition. Looking forward to the great day of God. Which day? Welchen Tag? The day of the Lord. Der große Tag des Herrn. This is what Joel says. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Right? Das ist, was Joel sagt. Stößet 
an den Posaune in Zion, der Tag des Herrn steht bevor. The prophet Jeremiah declares, I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down. What had taken place? Was ist stattgefunden? All the cities, right? Alle Städte sind niedergebracht worden. Okay, so we know that right here, all the cities, step by step, get, begin to get laid low. Wir wissen, right? dass gerade hier, Schritt für Schritt, alle Städte fangen an, zerstört zu werden. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Here is to be the throne of Satan with his evil angels for a thousand years, limited to the earth. He will not have access to other worlds to tempt and annoy those who have never fallen. It is in this sense that he is bound. There are none remaining upon whom he can exercise his power. He is wholly cut off from the work of deception and ruin, which for so many centuries has been his sole delight. Now that's perfectly fulfilled here. Und das right? wird gerade hier perfekt erfüllt werden. But this Aber has been typified here and here. Aber right? das hier wird vorausgeschattet eben hier und auch hier. The two veils. Die zwei Vorhängen. So whenever there is a, a judgment, there is a new birth. So right? wenn immer es eine Gericht gibt, gibt es folglich ein Neugeburt. Amen. Amen. Because at the end of the thousand years, Once he's judged Satan, what's he going to do? Denn am Ende von den tausend Jahren, nachdem er Satan gerichtet hat, was wird er denn tun? He's going to create the earth new. Er right? wird die Erde neu schaffen. God doesn't change, right? Gott verändert sich nicht. Showing us the same over and over. Er zeigt uns dasselbe wieder und wieder. Last paragraph. Letzter Absatz. The prophet Isaiah looking forward to the time of Satan's overthrow. So it's where Satan gets punished. So right? es ist, wo Satan bestraft wird. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the door of his prisoners. Amen? Amen. All these things is marking the end. All right? diese Dinge markieren das Ende. Which now brings forth the beginning. Was denn folglich das Anfang hervorbringt. Okay, next quote. Nächster Zitat. It says, the Bible and the Bible only gives a correct view of these things. Here are revealed the great final scenes in the history of our world, events that already are casting their shadows before the sound of their approach, causing the earth to tremble and men's hearts to fail them for fear. Where are we, brothers and sisters? So, wo befinden wir uns hier, liebe Schwester? Where do we, where is that taken from? Von wo ist das entnommen? Luke 21, Lukas 21. And it's referring to the distress of es nations, right? Zieht sich auf der Bedrängnis der Nationen. It's referring to this very time period, the point right here. We'll go through this later, right? Und es bezieht sich auf genau diesen Punkt hier und später werden wir darüber gehen, äh, durchgehen. Okay. Behold, and the way says, behold the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. Jeremiah chapter 4. Das ist dasselbe wie Jeremia Kapitel 4. No, not the same as it oh, is Jeremiah. Sorry. Das ist Jeremia Kapitel 4. They have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting codes. Oh, I'll correct myself, it's Isaiah 24. Also es ist Jesaja 24. But we will come to Jeremiah 4 in, in a moment. Aber wir werden gleich zu Jeremia 4 kommen. Okay, so they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. The mirth of tablets ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. Alas, 
For the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. This is now Joel speaking. This is Joel, der jetzt spricht. The seed is rotten under their clods, the garners are laid desolate, the barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed, because they have no pasture. Yet the flocks of sheep are made desolate. The vine is dried up, the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. Even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. I am pained at my very heart. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war, destruction upon destruction is cried for the whole land is spoiled. Now it's Jeremiah. So right? yes, this is Jeremiah. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it. Amen? Amen. So the end here is what the Lord brings it to, and then he brings about the beginning, right? So das Ende ist der Punkt, den der Herr es zu bringt, und dann bringt er das Anfang hervor. Okay, in this point about Isaiah 21, man's heart failing for fear, we will cover this. In another presentation. In diesem Punkt Jesaja 21, wo es sagt, Menschen, Herzen, Versagen vor Furcht, werden wir in eine künftige Präsentation abdecken. Okay, so Revelation 12 again, Vers so, 7. Offenbarung 12 wieder und Vers 7. Okay, so Christ brings forth and he goes into the wilderness, right? So, Christus bringt hervor und er geht in die Wüste hinein. How long did Christ minister for? So, wie lange diente Christus? Three and a half years, all the way to the cross, right? Dreieinhalb Jahre, die ganzen Weg bis zum Kreuz hin. So he comes out of the belly and he flees into the wilderness, right? For a times, times and a half. Aus dem Bauch heraus und er flüchtet in die Wüste für eine Zeit, Zeiten und eine halbe Zeit. Verse 7. Vers 7. So when he flees in the wilderness, is a time of? Peace. So, wenn er in die Wüste flüchtet, ist es eine Zeit des Friedens. Okay, right. Yeah. We've got to look at the symbols, right? Remember, Satan counterfeits these symbols, right? So, gedenke, dass Satan diesen Symbolen fälscht. So, the, remember, the three and a half years that Christ is ministering is just counterfeited by Antichrist. So, right? die dreieinhalb Jahre, wo Christus dient, ist nur gefälscht durch den Antichristus. So, Christ, he's ministering for 1260 or three and a half years, right? Christus dient für 1260 oder diese dreieinhalb Jahre. But then verse 7 says, Aber dann Vers 7 sagt, and there was war in heaven. So what's now happened again? So was geschieht denn wieder? After he's gone in the wilderness, what now happens? So nachdem er in die Wüste gegangen ist, was geschieht? The time of war, right? Es wieder ein Zeit des Kriegs. Because it begins again, right? Weil es fängt dann wieder an. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought on his angels, and prevailed not, neither was the place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Sister White marks this at the cross. Und bis Vers 9. Und Ellen White markiert das am Kreuz. So Satan's cast out here. Satan ist hier hinausgeworfen. Then again here. Dann wieder hier. Right? Amen. Because... <laughs> He was this light bearer, but he turned back again to fight against God. Right? Er war diesen Lichtträger, aber er hat sich umgewendet, um gegen Gott zu kämpfen. Right? Amen. Follow now, yeah? Konntet ihr folgen? Okay. Right. So, um, ten. Yes, ten. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our God day and night. And that's this, this experience, this belly, right? The day and night. So, Tag und Nacht, das ist eben dieses Bauches Erfahrung. 
right? And you're pleading for deliverance day and night, Wenn right? Du Tag und Nacht für Befreiung flehst. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, they loved not their lives unto the death, right? It's the death decree. Es ist der Todesdekret. And they, be they be become these witnesses, right? Und sie werden diese Zeugen werden. Okay, we'll cover all this point as we go through. Und diesen Punkt werden wir später abdecken. So, now go back to Ezekiel 16. Jetzt gehen wir zu Ezekiel 16. Vers 13. Vers 13. It just shows you the same thing, right? Es zeigt uns dasselbe wieder. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen, and silk and broidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil. Thou was exceeding beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom. That's where at the beginning, when they come out of Egypt, right? Vers 13, das war am Anfang, als sie aus Ägypten herauskommen. They become this light bearer to the whole world. Sie werden diesen Lichtträger zu der gesamten Welt werden. And thy renown went forth among the heathen, for thy beauty, for it was perfect. Who is it speaking about? Deine Schönheit war perfekt. Über wen redet das? Lucifer. Über right? Lucifer. Through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God, but thou didst trust in thine own beauty. And place the harlot because of thy renown, and pourest out thy fornications on every one that passed by as it was. Hence Christ comes out here, goes into the wilderness. Deswegen right? kommt Christi hier und geht in die Wüste hinein. Was Lucifer. Was Lucifer. Right? And he forgets God, mm. not he, but the movement. Also nicht Christus, aber die Bewegung vergisst Gott. And therefore he becomes Satan. Und right? deswegen wird Lucifer Satan. The enemy of God. Der Feind Gottes. There's a change takes place. He becomes an enemy. And now there is war. So eine Veränderung findet statt. Er wird ein Feind Gottes. Und jetzt haben wir Krieg. Where? Wo? In heaven. Im right? Himmel. Because it was in heaven here that they got cast down. Right? Right? Es war im Himmel hier, wo sie hinuntergeworfen worden sind. Right? Amen? Okay. So, you see how these are allegorical Truths that need to be brought together, right? So, konntet ihr sehen, dass dies allegorische Wahrheiten sind, die zusammengebracht werden müssen. So the Jews, die Juden, came out of Egypt, kamen aus Ägypten heraus. And they forgot God and they became the enemies of God. Und dann haben sie Gott vergessen hier und sind die Feinde Gottes geworden. Because they were no longer controlled by the Spirit of God, they, they, they went back to, into bondage, sie right? Sie sind nicht mehr von Geiste Gottes geführt, sondern die sind zurück in der Knechtschaft gegangen. Quickly go to Galatians chapter 3. Geht in unseren Bibeln schnell zu Galater Kapitel 3. We see this very point. Wir können denn genau diesen Punkt sehen. Vers 1. Vers 1. It says, O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? that ye should not obey the truth. Remember, it says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, right? Es sagt, dass der Mensch nicht von Brot alleine leben wird, sondern ein jedes Wort Gottes. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So where would that be? Verse 2. Vers 2. Wo würde denn das sein? Where do you receive the Spirit by faith? So, wo erhältst du den Geist? Durch Glaube. Yeah. Am Anfang. <laughs> Come on, this is the whole crux. When you receive the Spirit, you become the sons of God. So, right? Daran hängt alles ab. Also wenn du den Geist erhältst, wirst du Söhne Gottes. In the beginning, right? Am Anfang eben. It says, are ye so, so foolish having begun? In the spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Vers 3. Right? They, and it tells you what it means when you go to Galatians chapter 4. Und das erklärt uns, was es bedeutet, wenn wir zu Galater 4 überschlagen. Vers 21. Vers 21. Tell me ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. Right? So what have they put themselves back on dust. 22, so unter was haben sie sich wieder gestellt? To the law. So, Knechtschaft zu das Gesetz. They've gone back to trusting in the types instead of understanding the antitypes. Sie right? sind zurückgegangen, um Vertrauen in den Typen zu setzen, 
anstelle den Antitypen zu verstehen. They've forgotten what those things point to, right? Sie haben vergessen, worauf diese Dinge weisen. And they start to trust in themselves, right? Sie fangen an, in sich selbst zu vertrauen. Okay. So, when you go to Ezekiel 28, so, verse 13. Die Notizen zurück, Ezekiel 28, Vers 13. Last thoughts. Die letzten Gedanken. And this is speaking about a movement. We read that, right? Und das hier spricht über eine Bewegung. Das And haben the wir movement gelesen. is the twelve tribes that come out of Egypt. Und die Bewegung sind die zwölf Stämme, die aus Ägypten herauskommen. Which is the twelve disciples. Was gleich die zwölf Jüngern sind. And one of them was a murderer from the beginning. Und einer war ein Mörder von Anbeginn an. And here he begins to manifest that, right? Es ist hier, wo er fängt an, dies zu manifestieren. The foolish virgins, die right? Die törichten Jungfrauen. Who didn't carry oil begin to war against God and they know it not. Die törichten Jungfrauen, die kein Öl in ihren Gefäßen fangen, sie fangen an, gegen Gott zu kämpfen, sie wissen es aber noch nicht. It says in verse 13. Sie sagt in Vers 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tablets, and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. When are you created? Das 13. Also wann bist du geschaffen? In the beginning. Am Anfang. Right. Um, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. When Christ became the anointed one, he was fulfilling the role of Lucifer. So as Christus der Gesalbte geworden ist, er erfüllte die Rolle Luzifers. And I have said thee so, thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. Where does he cast them to? Wohin werft er ihm? To the earth, right? Zu der Erde. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Okay, last verses. Ezekiel 16, 37 to 38. Ezekiel 16, 37, 38. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers, with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated. I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may See all thy nakedness. So the ones that you love, they're going to be brought against you, so right? Diejenigen, die du liebst, werden gegen dich gebracht werden. And I will judge thee as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy. Amen? Amen. So we're going to bring, add to these things as we go through. So, während wir durchgehen, werden wir zu diesen Dingen hinzufügen. So, are we, we all following? Können wir alle folgen? Right? Yes. Amen? Yeah. Anyway, you need to pray that the Lord gives you a, a clear mind to make the connections, right? So, wir müssen beten, dass der Herr uns einen klaren Verstand gibt, dass wir diese Verknüpfungen, um, diese Verbindungen sehen. And on that note, don't eat too much for lunch, right? Und mit <laughs> das gesagt, also isst nicht zu viel zum Mittag. Okay, let's close in prayer. So, lasst uns mit Gebet Schluss machen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lieber himmlischer Vater, Lord, thank you for all these pieces that you bring together for us. Herr, ja, danke für all diese ähm, Bruchteile, die du für uns zusammenbringst. Lord, it's a fearful thing to remain in this condition we're in. Ja, es ist eine fürchterliche Sache, in diesem Zustand, in dem wir uns befinden, zu bleiben. But it's even more fearful to have this new birth and then become Satan. Aber noch fürchterlicher ist, diese neue Geburt zu bekommen und dann Satan zu werden. And it's terrible, Lord, because you already know 
who those people are. Und es ist schrecklich, Herr, weil du weißt bereits im Voraus, wer diesen Menschen sind. Please help us to be like the disciples. So bitte hilft uns, wie die Jungen zu werden. Who said, is it me, Lord? Die gesagt haben, bin ich es, Herr. Help us to constantly look in our own hearts and make sure it's not us Hilft that uns. will turn from your grace. Hilft uns beständig in unserem eigenen Herzen zu schauen und sicherzustellen, dass wir nicht von deiner Gnade wenden würden. For as the scripture saith, it's better that you had not been born. Denn so wie die Schriften sagen, es wäre besser, wir noch nie geboren wären. Please have mercy on us, Lord. Bitte erbarme dich, unseren Herrn. Please help us to strive to have this new birth. Bitte hilft uns zu streben, diese neue Geburt zu bekommen. To take heaven by force. Dass wir den Himmel durch Gewalt an uns reißen. And then to walk humbly before you with your fear ever before us. Und dann wir demütig vor dir wandeln werden mit deinem Furcht immer im Voraus. That we can be this great light to the whole world. Dass wir dieses große Licht zu der ganzen Welt werden können. And we thank you for this opportunity. Und wir danken dir für diese Gelegenheit. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Und wir bitten dies im Namen Jesu. Amen. Amen.